But now we have a very exciting game in the round of 16. Would you like to introduce the blue team? Yes, on the left side here on Dragonshire, we have fan favorite team from Poland, Team Alternate. And we have the team captain Guccio playing Tassadar. Uh, that's a new one. Then Vassal is playing Kerrigan. Uh, Gluehammer, Tychus. And Mopsio is on Arthas, Krolu playing seconds. Uther. And on the right side in the red trunks, it is Whiskey Coca Five, with Stitches four, three, uh, being played two, by Whiskey himself. One. Exploding is Let on the, the Falstad. On the bright wing at the back, we have Revy. On the Sergeant Hammer, we have Nasty. And it is Blur. It is, is that Blade or Blowed? I can't uh, read. I think it's Blade. Fast. It is Blowed. That is an O. Um, and me? Blowed is on the Zeratul. Oh, okay. Yeah. No idea what a blow it is. Don't want to know. <laughs> if Stitches hooks here, he could actually uh, catch someone quite nicely. And I would like to point out that new ke that Kerrigan mount on that skin is just glorious. Yeah, I love it as well. It's a really good idea to uh, just have these skins really unique and noteworthy. Oh, he's in trouble. There's the root and some good tip cutting out of Alphys. There's the stun, and they should get whiskey here. Yes, that's first blood for alternate. Yep, this is tri uh, this is very well played by them. Sorry, that wasn't actually a chat distraction. A fly just flew into my eye and it really hurt, so... <laughs> Sorry about that. Exploding, now getting engaged upon, does go down. Such heavy CC there. The free, the currently free man gang squad out of uh, alternate. Ufa heading back to the top lane to continue his roam. And here comes the Kerrigan Arthur squad. They get Revi. Revi being dropped low. Oh, Revi goes down. And he's down again. That was just three quick consecutive kills. By wow, alternate really aggressive here early on, but Kerrigan and Arthas really making that happen. And of course, just having Gluhammer, Gluhammer in the bot lane here uh, does help out quite a bit as far as DPS is concerned. And now they have a firm grasp here on the spot lane. Yeah, very, very nice here. Vassal taking a lot of damage. Needs to be careful. Blade with a blink out of the stun. Goes in, gets a cleave off. Oh, amazing root! Oh, and nasty, God. he's in trouble as well. Arthas no, trying to body block. Death coil. Oh, the Envenom. Envenoms him from that low health and gets him. Revi now being forced to back out as well. And the shrine is going to stay in the hands of alternate. Top shrine, however, Krolu not going to be able to take that down. He's just going to have to keep Stitches at bay until his team can come up and help. But right now, they're not that bothered. The mercenaries have just come up at the two minute mark. So they are just going to begin taking their easy camp to keep the pressure on bot lane before they roam up to the top lane. But while that's happening, Bot Shrine is being taken. If Falstad can sneak in or gain control of the mid lane, he could try and grab a Dragonite. If he's very quick, he can do it now, but Fals but Tastar is there. He is waiting. Yeah, we have Vassal also moving in. Uther will go for the grab. He needs to steal that top shrine, and Whiskey is not in a position to contest it. So uh, they will stop the Dragonite. Ooh, just in time. Just in time, though. Yep, Blow just gained control of that area, so Exploding could have gone to grab it. Bot lane, though, Nasty is, well, being nasty, and has completely cleared this minion wave. He's not in range to hit the tower at this point, he needs to reposition himself and re-siege for that. But he's just going to back out, making sure he doesn't get ganked. Does not want to be caught out of position when players like this come in. And we can see Vassal, in fact, waiting there. Not even waiting in the bush so that the blade didn't hit him with a rogue skill shot. Yeah, Mopsy coming in from the bottom, Vassal and Gluhammer from the top, and Ryzel locked down down Revy, but she does get away, and Blade, of course, also blinking out. But Gluhammer, he took quite a bit of hits. He did, he ran through all of the Sergeant Hammer mines and then got hit by basically all abilities by all three of these players. It was and, and I love how Nasty just puts, uh, keeps putting uh, the mines in there, and Vassal getting quite a few hits by the mines. Oh, nice, nice grass there, Revy getting quite a bit of hits in, it's but she video. does get away. Oh no! <laughs> Nasty went down too. Blade does get pulled back in, but he will not go down. There's no CC left to catch him out. That He's gives control to alternate for the shrine. Oh, what is Blade doing? That was a good blink though. Very, very yeah. solid escape. But like you said, super, super risky. Not sure Indeed. why he did. I don't know what he would try to accomplish there. I mean, they had solid control of that shrine and they are looking to go for the bruisers here uh, in bot lane. We'll get those, and that means that Sergeant Hammer and Brightwing have to go. Will have to go into bot lane to defend that. Blade knows what's up. Knows he has to deal with the Bruisers, but is going for a steal here. Yep, and here we go. Blow, taking a lot of damage, but he is able to blink out. Nasty 
Gonna help clearing up these bruiser camp. This bruiser camp doing a great job. And Krolu able to beat out Stitches and almost takes control of that top stride. Glucio is able to take down Stitches. Very nice job there. And they do get control of this top shrine. Can Arthas hold off exploding? Exploding so low he has to fountain. But bot lane was just taken back by Blow. Yeah, that's a good thing. They do have Nasty down there. They need the they need the siege tank. And one thing to note, uh, excellent timing by Revi for the bribe on the siege giants, because those siege giants really helped to clear up the bruisers. And that gave him control back in the spot lane, but I think they need to rotate a little bit more, but for now, just keep in control, and that's what is important. Oh, there's the shotgun blast, keeping Mopsio back. Very short range blink by Blow there, uh, Blow there, but he is able to get himself out of any kind of danger rage. But this is definitely, like you said, going to be the bottom shrine being taken, but top shrine has been taken by Whiskey. So, Shrine's being traded, Exploding gonna have to be for health, while in the meantime, Ultimate gonna do huge amounts of damage. That's a Syndra Gosa, did not expect that. And that's actually worked surprisingly well, takes down Sergeant Hammer, the fort is not attacking, down goes Bribing as well. Really good use of the Syndra Gosa there by Ultimate. Yeah, excellent use of the Cinderosa and also a good, um, good heroic follow-up out of Krolu. And there's Blood going down as well, and they will get this fort. Exploding can't really do anything about it. Um, we'll try to just keep an eye out for them, but this fort is going down. Yeah, and maybe Stitch is from top. Maybe he can pull someone out. But no, maybe he gets there too late. Range. He yeah, really he gets there too late. There. Fantastic play by Ultimate there. Really good use of heroic abilities for great effect. Using the Syndragosa for the slow onto hammer so they could dive her and disabling the fort so they didn't take unnecessary damage and slows while they were trying to chase. It was a great dive. Yeah, both teams should be going for their bruisers now. Uh, we already have Whiskey starting to do it. And so is Ultimate. They still have two players in lane. So maybe they want to get in position to stop Whiskey? No, not yet. Yep. They don't Oracle. want to risk diving that far against someone like a Stitches. Especially when they have just hit level 10 and he does have his gore job. Yep. Um, Whiskey is now going for the defense here on these on these Siege Shrines and they're looking to recapture this bottom shrine. But, oh, alternate! Hot on their tails, exploding, taking quite a bit of damage. Oh, the stuns and the roots missing, so Whiskey Coca Gonna be pretty fine here with the backing out exploding, moving back in, getting ready to poke from afar. They do still have control of both shrines now, but there's no way they're gonna be able to get to this mid lane. The entirety of Ultimate, but Ultimate gonna begin, or at least Kerrigan is, gonna roam up to the top lane and take that top shrine. Whereas in the meantime, Whiskey, this is their best chance to take the mid the mid here, but it's gonna be too late as Kerrigan already has top. Yeah, um, that was good thinking here by Alternate's uh, Kerrigan, just to grab Top Shrine, and now she's also in lane to deal with these bruisers. We've done quite a bit of damage, and well, actually not going for it. Ooh, that's surprising. Uh, maybe they're looking for the next team fight. There's still two levels ahead, and Whiskey completely out of lane. So, yep, yeah, whiskey, just going just for the mid lane. Whiskey gonna be Whiskey gonna completely hold this bot lane because they can't lose this shrine and alternate. Gonna take advantage of this, like you said, completely crush down mid lane. Whiskey are beginning to rotate up to deal with this, but they've already lost the balls and it has a hook. Misses, does not get Vassal and that's bad for them. Root goes down, there's the Syndragosa. Gonna catch three members and that was a great Void Prison by Blood. But everyone Excellent Void Prison at the follow up, Felstead. I think he was stopped there, right? Uh, he was, and so much damage is coming down. And nice pull by Kerrigan, catches three members, exploding, is able to dash out. Blood goes down, Nasty goes down. And it's the transformations out of alternate that are the deciding factor there. That was decidedly a better engagement by Whiskey Coca, thanks to the Void Prism and some of those engages. But yeah, the Void Prism was just enough. excellent. The transformations and the turnarounds, and once again, great use of abilities by alternate, just completely turned it in their favor. Yeah, if they would have had, um, if they would have had an equal level, they could have taken this fight, and Whiskey could have uh, advanced over alternate. But now, we have the Dragon Knight marching in, and he's not being uh, supported by the remainder of his team. I think everyone's just yeah, going into different lanes, trying to do the split push here. Just Clue Hammer coming in from the back. Yep, Looking they know they can probably get this fort without it, even if Lucio, he's going to be able to get out. He does have his face shift up, and he does use it perfect timing there to dodge the cleave of Blode. Vassal, though, bit risky, gets two members with the stun, takes a lot of damage, but the fight is happening again. Blode being dropped very, very low here is able to blink out. No one goes down on either team. 
but that was a good engagement there by Team Alternate. A good try by Whiskey Coker as well, but they just they can't get it. They can't catch their break. Yeah, they can't catch catch their break. They need to um, stay stay out of this fight. Looking to take the bruisers here. And the reason why we didn't see anyone going down that last fight was because most of the heroics were still on cooldown. But oh. they used oh, all their bribe. Can't interrupt it. He sprints in and immediately gets polymorphed as he tries to use Divine Storm. Very unlucky there. Very good counter there. And oh, excellent Cinderosa. And that's Sergeant Hammer taken out, Krolu trying to get back out of that fight, but Whiskey, he's caught in there, there comes the Grasp and he's taken out, oh next root there, Revy, can he get away? He's so low, Holy Radiance doesn't reach, and Revy is able to back out, exploding, not so lucky, he gets taken down, Bloat also able to blink out, but Alternate are once again gonna push and kill off some more Towers of Walls and get even more XP. Yeah, they're already three levels ahead. And this is just excellent play here by Vassal. I got a, I got a point to Vassal here. Two grasps in a row that were just incredible. Getting heroes that were quite low and just keeping them back and taking them out. Pretty much all his grasps, grasps and stuns have actually been yeah. really on point this game, doing a fantastic job. Yeah, and they're going for their own bruisers now, while uh, Whiskey is doing the same, of course. They need to catch up in the experience. Right now they can't really take a team fight. Level 16 is up for Alternate and they took second strike on Tassadar. So double Psionic Storm yep, and Gathering Radiance on Uther. And I do like that. It actually was changed a bit. I'm I'm not sure if you would consider that a the change a buff or a nerf. I haven't actually, I didn't actually look at it properly. So uh Vassal escaping from Stitch Stessage Stitch did try to hook him. Uh, the Impaling Blade's radius on Kerrigan is huge. She was hitting three people with it how it was. What she get a hit now? Now what? There was time to fight out. She actually hit Whiskey, but Whiskey just ate her as the counter. And now here is the fight. Oh, Whiskey is taken out though. And Blade also in trouble, but he blinks out. And there's the Divine Storm. Wow, getting Blade and Brightwing in that fight. And Exploding has to stay back. This gives solid control Nasty. over... There's the boost. Oh, nice knockback as well. He's going to have to keep running, though, due to the fact that Tassadar is still giving chase. D bounce Tassadar, and Nasty probably out very safely there. It was good positioning by Nasty, just not able to take anyone down. But yeah. it was a nice also, positioning. Also, quite, quite risky positioning at the same time, though. Um, if they would have spotted her out early on. Oh, wow. If, if they spotted her out, they would have had to chase her, and that would have ah, actually that's true. That's made true. it work a bit worse. So. And with the speed boost, you can usually get away unless you're rooted down in... And she would have gotten out before the route, so... Nevertheless, she's trying to contest Bard Shrine. Yep. But I don't think it's gonna be enough. No, you can't, you can't fight it. And there we go, Alternate taking another Dragon Knight, going on to Blow. Blow did not have his blink up, and was stun locked never th nonetheless. So he does go down. Vassal now gonna begin pushing with this Dragon Knight. There's the instant transformation by Gluehammer. Making sure he doesn't get caught by Stitches. And Alternate is going to continue pushing this in. Nasty having to back up thanks to the slow beam from Guccio there. Yeah, they really need to lure him in a little bit more, get a better concave and Nasty uh, with the napalm. With a little bit of damage onto Vassal. But of course he's so beefy, three levels ahead. And just bashing away at these towers. Whiskey getting kicked out of the fight again and again. They realize, okay, if Whiskey's out of the fight, then um, they can't engage. Whiskey Coca just caught on the back. And the keep? Not quite going down yeah, yet. They, ca they can't risk it. Vassal does not have an escape once he is out of that Dragonite. So being forced to back up here to make sure it's in a more safe scenario. When the enemy team, if the enemy team had decided to chase and engage, they did chase a bit, but they knew they couldn't get the engage. So they did back off. And now we're going to see Alternate take their easy camp while Whiskey Coca just going to clear their bot lane. Yeah, and that's one of those things with Kerrigan. I mean, she's a really strong assassin, but the problem is, she, you, with her, you really have to commit. You can't really decide, okay, okay, this fight is not really worth it. I'm going out. Nope, that's not going to work. And that was the reason for them to turn this around, uh, turn uh, turn around in the fight, and now taking the Bruiser camp. There is the Oracle. There's the Cindracosa. Hits pretty much everyone. There's the hook. Onto Krolo, he's gonna almost get device storm. He gets polymorphed, he does go down. He can still cast it in his ghost form oh, though. Excellent gorge. Oh. 
Sergeant Hammer doing damage at the back there, but it's not enough. Her teammates that were defending her just get burst. Sergeant Hammer takes down Vassal, though. Nasty ran the other way, though, to try and buy his team some time. Wasn't enough for... Uh, also enough for Stitches there, who also goes down. It is now just exploding, trying to fight off three members of Alternate. And there's no way he's going to get that. He's going to try his best, but we're going to see two keeps go down. Yeah. Two keeps at the same time. Alternate is quite low, and there are two heroes down. And 10 second cooldown timer for Whiskey, so they're going to play it safe. Possibly go for a steal, because the Bruiser Camp is coming up in a second. Yep, and they still have a little bit of cooldown. That are going to slow down Whiskey Coco, so they should get this Bruiser Camp in time and then have enough time to back up and go and get some health and mana back themselves after being. Yeah. Good timing here on the Bruisers. And just now alternate, realizing, okay. Uh, oh, wow. Almost oh, getting Guccio there. And there's a disrupt. Guccio oh, still in Guccio, trouble. Get yes, out. He has the face shift available if you need. He doesn't have much mana left, he's being dropped low, there's the phase shift to keep himself alive, and now he's got nothing left to dodge, but he does get taken down. And nice pickup. Oh, oh. range hook with the fission cook uses the gorge, and that is Arthas in there, can they pick him off before he does get out? He's cast all his abilities to try to keep himself alive, and he goes down as well. Whiskey Coca picking people left, right, and center, but they still have to get another 20 of those to catch up with Alternate's kill count. Yeah, and all of the forts are still alive for Alternate. So they have a little bit of a timing window now to make something happen. And looks like everyone is rotating down, trying to grab the shrines again and possibly go for the fort. It hasn't taken any damage yet, but uh, the gates are down at least. So let's see what they're gonna do here. Go for the Dragonite if at all possible, but long range. Uh, disrupts are coming out of alternate, but nevertheless, they do get the Dragonite and march into mid lane. There are the catapults going down straight away. Uh, Vassal did actually try to go to top lane and try and disrupt the top lane, but Brightwing completely outplayed Vassal and was able to keep control of that very fantastically. So uh, Kerrigan did have to back up there and is now they're just going to let this fort go down and look for a better engagement while waiting for their team to respawn. Yeah, they need Arthas in the fight. I mean, Without Arthas, they can't really engage this, and he's still 5 seconds out. So they will stay back for now. Just try to delay if at all possible. There are the storms coming out. Double storm follow up. Nope, not yet out of dude. Good chill. They might. Ooh, wow. But Blue Hammer, of course, getting away. There's the Odin form popped, and an amazing Divine Hurricane. Whiskey taking a lot of damage there in the back, but looks like they're trying to get away from this fight, but not with Vassal on the watch. So much splash damage here out of team alternate they have oh by kerrigan uh, they have the odin they have Oops. the Cassidar. they have kerrigan with her ultimate as well an excellent and body blocking here on exploding can he get away there's the dash mozio oh double dash double dash very very nice and he's gonna fly away does get out alive very well played and they just missed brightwing who was also being back yeah but still that's uh three for one really good fight for alternate just working and waiting until uh, they got Arthas back in the game and then just engaging at that excellent Divine Hurricane by Kroon, uh saving the day. And now they have all of their heroes, well, except Kerrigan, attacking the core, catapults in the back. Oh, oh actually taking a lot of damage here, Krolu. Getting hit by the shock and all, but there's the Divine Hurricane one more time. Yeah, Divine Hurricane did, did go down Krolu. Coming back in, healing up his team, and that will be enough to take down the core. Exploding cannot do the damage, neither can Revi. And that will be GG by Tacita. That will be GG for Team Alternate taking down what? Coca. Oh. They all died, but the catapults were enough. Yeah, that that, that was incredibly Uber. close. <laughs> Uber just all whacked it once and won the game that way. Oh, fant very well played. Alternate just on top form this week. <laughs> they really are. Um... Excellent play. Um, Whiskey once again couldn't make it, couldn't couldn't use Sergeant Hammer to a full extent. I mean, it was similar to last or similar to Wednesday, where they made her work in the early game, got solid control of bot lane, but they needed too many heroes in that one single lane to just keep control. And I don't know, then some really good uh, picking in the fights, going for stitches every single time, getting him out of the fight, and with him gone, the whole setup crumbles on Whiskey Coco's side. 